Rubbermaid Hygiene Clean Water System has a revolutionary filter bucket and ringer that when combined with our double-sided microfiber flat mops will help you clean your floor better than ever before while using less water, fewer chemicals, and saving you time. Bucket assembly is easy. First, lay one of the wheeled supports on the ground. Then insert the cross pieces into the areas just above the wheels. Use a soft mallet to firmly seat the pieces. Now attach the second wheeled support using a soft mallet. Stand the assembled piece up on its wheels. Slide the yellow bucket into the structure and push it down firmly. The filter is placed in the chamber with a single hole at the bottom. Align the nozzle with the hole and press down firmly. Tuck gently on the filter handle above the hole to ensure that it is connected. Next, attach the handle to the ringer. This is done by simply depressing the spring button on the handle and sliding it into the sleeve. Be sure the spring button is fully extended through the hole. The ringer sits on top of the bucket. It connects to the bucket in two easy steps. Just connect the hinges at the back and then use the front clamp to lock the ringer on. To attach the bucket to the 6173 cart, position the rear of the bucket in front of the cart's front shelf. Lift the rear of the bucket up and pull it back over the shelf. Then lower the bucket so the black dolly grips the front of the cart shelf. If you plan on attaching your bucket to a 9T72, 9T73, or 9T74 cart, you can do so by using a lock and go kit. Locate the bucket drain plug and remove the wheels from the dolly on that side. Attach the bracket with the screw and replace the wheel. The bucket can now be hooked to the cart by placing the bracket over the connecting peg. To fill the bucket with water, you must first remove the ringer. Before filling, confirm the filter is properly installed by pulling gently on the filter. If it cannot be easily lifted, it is secure. If it is not secure, simply lift the filter out and reattach it by putting the nozzle into the hole and pressing down firmly. It is recommended that you fill both chambers. Just use a hose and alternate between chambers until the bucket is filled to the indicator. Do not overfill the bucket. Choose the appropriate microfiber pad for the surface you will be mopping. Lay it on the floor. Pull the mop frame toward you, sliding the frame into the pockets. Lift, fold, and press. You are ready to mop. The ringer has four adjustment levels, allowing you to easily choose how wet or dry the mop will be. This also accommodates the various mop pads with different recommended positions. Turning the dial counterclockwise moves the rollers closer together and will remove more water from the mop. Clockwise moves them farther apart and will allow a damper mop. Be sure to turn the dial completely each time to lock the rollers into position. You will hear a click as it locks into the desired setting. When ringing the mop, always stand in front of the bucket with the ringing lever on your right. This will allow you to stabilize the bucket while easily pulling the lever. When rinsing the mop, be sure to lower the mop head all the way into the bucket, rubbing it between the scrubbers several times to remove any dirt. Raise the mop so that the yellow circle is aligned with the top of the rollers. This ensures the entire mop will pass through the rollers. Now, with your right hand, simply pull the lever toward you and downward. The rollers will assist in ejecting the mop. Slow and controlled movement when the frame is about to exit the rollers will ensure the trailing edge of the mop is properly rung. Once the mop has been ejected, you can release the lever. It is not necessary to continue moving the lever down. If the mop is still too damp, you can either repeat the ringing process or change the ringing level using the adjustment dial. When the mop water gets dirty, rather than dumping the water and refilling the bucket, just tilt the bucket to get clean water. Stand on the side of the bucket with the lever. Put your right foot against the wheel to stabilize the bucket and tilt the bucket all the way back using the lever in a slow and controlled manner. You will hear the water pouring from the mopping chamber into the filter chamber. Once all the water is out of the mopping chamber, tilt the bucket back upright. If you are using the bucket with a 6173 cart, you must reverse the handle to use the filter. Simply detach the handle, turn it around, and reattach it. Now the water can be filtered as before without removing the bucket from the cart. The filtering process generally takes three to six minutes, depending on the dirt level in the water. So, as the water is being filtered, you can continue to mop. The flat microfiber mop is uniquely designed to allow you to use a figure eight pattern similar to that used with a traditional string mop. It also provides a consistent, streak-free coverage. The mop pad is dual-sided so you can flip the mop and continue mopping.
covering twice the area of single-sided flat mops. You can cover up to 500 square feet without needing to rinse the mop. Once you have mopped the area, return to the bucket to rinse the mop in the newly filtered clean water. No more trips back and forth to the janitor's closet. You must flush the filter after each day of use. To flush the filter, just pull it from the bucket and connect to the provided hose, attaching one end to the filter nozzle and the other end to the faucet. Pulse the water on and off while gently rubbing the outside of the filter to remove dirt. Continue pulsing the water until clean water flows through the filter. If you are emptying the bucket into a sink, simply remove the wringer and filter, lift the bucket off the dolly, and empty the bucket. To empty the bucket over a floor drain, remove the wringer and the filter, and then position the bucket over the drain. Unscrew the plug on the bottom of the bucket opposite the lever. Once the water is completely drained, replace the plug. Make sure it is tightened completely. That's it. Six easy steps to cleaner floors with less wasted water and time. The Rubbermaid Hygiene Clean Water System. Cleaning is believing.